Welcome, welcome to another podcast episode. So today I thought I would do a podcast episode on what to take to someone's house. Um, this is probably a little bit of a debatable topic. Could be influenced by maybe how we've been brought up, maybe different cultures. I don't know. But all I know is that I can only talk about it from my perspective um and i'm so open <laughs> to listening to other people's perspectives around um this topic um it's really something that i am interested in learning about you know um how people uh i suppose you know can judge which you know it's not something that this isn't a podcast about judging someone who does or doesn't do it a certain way to myself um, however it is something that I'm very interested in just learning about perspectives and just different cultures and and um, yeah what habits and what sort of values have been instilled in us growing up because I do believe that it kind of comes from the way we've been brought up perhaps and maybe the friends that we surround ourselves with um so yeah so what to take to someone's house so generally speaking if someone's invited you over let's paint the picture someone's invited you over for a lunch um or dinner um or brunch, brunch or afternoon tea or whatever it is i suppose it depends on the invitation and how casual and how formal i don't know like is it an actual thing with a group of people is it just you know just you two i personally am a big believer in taking something in your hand i always offer i'm like listen with my close friends we always sort of offer like okay what am i going to bring what can i contribute um obviously close friends are going to be a little bit we're more comfortable with each other to be like oh hey yeah you bring a salad you bring dessert like my girlfriend is an amazing baker and i'm always like whatever for dessert i'll leave it to you because i know she's going to bring something in her hand and it's just easier to be like you know just help me out bring a task whatever it is right but i always have like fruit or something else um on at hand to offer um if i'm going to someone's house and someone's sort of like you know invited me for lunch i always offer i'm like what can i bring They're like nothing nothing just bring yourself i do bring something at the bare minimum i bring a bottle with me a bottle of wine um maybe like a starter or a side it really depends i think that culturally it um you know from my perspective it shows um, appreciation it shows you know respect it shows um, not saying that if someone doesn't bring it, it's not respectful, but it's just how you, we have been brought up to, um, show gratefulness, um, being polite, great. I know, but then I've heard some people get sort of the shits when someone is being told, I don't want anything. And then they still bring something in their hand. Um, so I suppose it depends on you, the individual, but I definitely would say take something take something don't just take something for yourself you know for you just to have obviously unless you have like a dietary um you know um thing going on but you know take something for everyone to have a fruit platter some dip a starter you know um a bottle of wine you know a case of beer i don't freaking know something um i think it's really really like it just is nice it's nice I just think it's just a little sign of like, hey, thanks for opening up your home. Thanks for opening up your kitchen. Thanks for cooking and washing up and um, going to all this effort. Here, I've put something so that we can all enjoy something together. Even if someone doesn't want to eat it on that day, you know, here's something that we can have on another time. Um, I would like to know though, what is your go-to um, meal, dessert, what it is that you um, make when you have been invited as a guest to someone's house, I generally will make um, a dessert depending on, or a side, a side dish, a side salad. I love a good side salad, maybe something different, like a pumpkin. I, I have on my website a roast pumpkin salad with a beautiful um, yogurt and coriander and chili um, dressing that I put on top. Dessert, in the past I've made my baklava from my Wando 10 recipe um, cookbook, my baklava loaf, pull apart loaf. It is divine, it is 
amazing um, I also have made a raspberry galette using the dough um, otherwise some biscuits biscuits always go down a treat and um, it's something easy that can be you know made in advance um, that I can pop in the freezer take with me on the day so they're fresh um, and then if you know the guests or the host not the guests other guests or the hosts don't eat them on the day then you know they're good for the next for the week after or whatever whatever it is that the guests can the guests the hosts can have on their own so i would like to know what's your perspective on being a guest and etiquette in terms of do you take something do you not and then also if you do take something what is your go-to thing that you take um, I'm very interested. I love learning about different cultures, perspectives. Um, I do know that a lot of people just are like, yeah, whatever. I don't think I'm, I'm being a guest. I don't care. I'm not going to take anything. Um, and I suppose that's okay too. Like whatever floats your boat um, and whatever works with you, your family and your group of friends. But um, yeah, that's just something that's been instilled and planted in me since I was a little child. My mum did it and I see, I suppose it's a monkey see monkey do. Um, I think it's a, for us, it's a sign of gratitude, gratefulness, respect, and um, it just comes from a really good place. So it's interesting to see how um, people who don't, um, you know, receive that and what their kind of mindset around it being offensive is, because I suppose it goes two ways, doesn't it? Anyway, I would love to know yeah, what it is that you do and take and yeah, would love to hear from you.